In the 1800s, scientific debates weren't conducted on Facebook or Twitter. They were argued in lecture halls with passionate audiences as a kind of live entertainment. In France, two of the most popular protagonists were Louis Pasteur and his arch-rival Antoine Béchamp. You probably learned about Pasteur in high school biology as the father of the germ theory. In fact, he invented pasteurization. But Béchamp has been relegated to obscurity. He championed what is called terrain theory. Béchamp didn't deny the existence of bacteria and viruses, but he believed they were opportunistic, attacking the weak and vulnerable. He believed the path to health was by cultivating resistance via healthy lifestyle practices and hygiene. Ultimately, Louis Pasteur prevailed. He launched a medical revolution where sterilization, disinfectants, vaccines, and synthetic antimicrobial drugs became our prevailing paradigm for fighting disease. In fact, his successor Paul Ehrlich, who developed the first treatment for syphilis in 1909, coined the term magic bullet for how a new generation of drugs would precisely target illness. Fast forward to 2020. We're confronting a relentless pathogen that has sickened millions and killed hundreds of thousands worldwide. We're searching for magic bullets, vaccines and designer drugs that will vanquish the invader. But studies are revealing that comorbidities, obesity, diabetes, and hypertension make it more likely people will sicken and die from COVID-19. Thoughtful scientists are calling for more attention to lifestyle factors. Diet, exercise, stress, toxin exposure as a way to curb the pandemic. When Pasteur was dying, it was said that the last words he uttered were Le microbe n'est rien, le terrain est tout. The microbe is nothing, the terrain is everything. Perhaps a time we heed the words of his medical pioneer and revisit the terrain theory.